All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video for you. Today we're going to cover a couple new libraries from AudioFire. We've got EtherArp. Well, that's not new. We featured that before, but the new one is called Venkat. Um, so let's check it out. Let's uh, go through how I used them in this track. I did use some additional uh, percussion instruments and everything and, you know, some horns and strings. A little bit down at the bottom, only three layers of that. But the rest of it was all from either EtherArp or Venkat. So let's check it out real quick. Just from the first get-go, we'll isolate this one note and you'll hear how much you know, kind of resonance and, and effects we have going on here just in this one instrument. So you hear how that continues to kind of ring out even after I hit stop. The same goes for this patch down here, which is one from EtherArp called A Voice in the Distance. And we will play that one too. If you play them together, you get a really nice, more kind of creepy ambient sound. So again, here we use that kind of ambience and resonance to a really nice effect by having it continue to ring out before we transition into the next part of the track. Uh, would, so it starts at 140, and then when it goes to the next part, it goes down to 90 and has this nice kind of rhythm. But again, you know, just this final kind of rise up here, we use uh, two, three instances of Ether Arp and two instances of Venkat. I'm, Let's look real quick at what that other one is doing right here called Fog Machine. So really beautiful ambience there. Let's combine it with the Ether Art. Uh, which these two have, you know, just that really beautiful resonance and just kind of ring out very nicely.
So we kind of played the whole thing there with all of the layers. I'm just going to mute the strings, percussion, and everything. And for this part, you know, you can really hear, again, how these different layers really complement each other and form this really unique kind of textured soundscape using, again, just the instruments I showed you before, two of the presets from Venkat and three instruments from EtherArp. Again, we get that really long, nice uh, resonance there. And then finally, uh, the only instance I use this certain instrument here, it's another one from Venkat, and it's just a nice kind of plucky sound that just kind of ends the song nicely. And it goes like this. So you get those nice echoes in there, that nice delay. Uh, really, these sounds are very, very lively. It's what I really love about them. So let's go in and kind of check out. I did not use that instrument. We can close that out. And we will load a brand new uh, instance of, let's go and check out Venkat first, because I have covered Ether Art before in the past, and Venkat's the new one. So let's you know really look the most at that one. So let's go in and check out the different uh, snapshots. So we have simple patches, convoluted patches with sequences, complex patches, and then demo patches, which they used in the official demo, uh, either the demo song or the demo video um, on their YouTube channel. So what's really unique about this is what they call it as a 20 times 4 ambient cinematic library. What, what does that mean? Well, you see we have this one, two, three, four. These are four different types of sounds. Attack, sustain, reverse, and then rhythmic. Now, the 20 comes in because you can select 20 different uh, sounds here. You can, every single one. So you can have all of these different sounds um, playing at once, as you can see, uh, which is an overload, of course, but, you know, the combinations there are pretty insane because you can pretty much do any combination of anything there. That one's kind of just a nice, you know, natural sounding instrument. It's a bit quiet, sorry. So the mod wheel is just controlling, you know, the amount of that delay resonance and everything that's going on there. Um, so there's a lot of different possibilities with it. Again, if you really want to get a feel for all it can do, just load up, you know, some of the presets. Let's check out one of these. It's called lo fi -ed. So that's 
really cool. And again, you can just hear those really nice resonances. So that one was really rhythmic, and you can do all these different kinds of uh, sounds with it, and very, very easily just by using the snapshots. And again, to make it your own, go in and customize those different layers. Uh, very, very simple, up to 20 different sounds for each of the four layers, which is pretty crazy. So some really cool sounds here, as you can hear, some of them have a nice pluck to them, uh, but most of them have, you know, multiple layers. If you don't like the pluck attack sound, just turn it off. Uh, if you just want the sound design stuff, experiment with the reverse the sustained sounds and the rhythmic um, and stuff like that and get those crazy kind of textures. If you just want the short plucky sounds, just use the different attack settings or just have fun with the presets. Really cool stuff. Uh, we've covered Aether Art before, Aether Art, um, so not going to show that one as much, but here you can really hear how they all work together, complement uh, each other very nicely, as well as a little bit of orchestral stuff, and you can get a track just like this, a nice kind of textured ambient hybrid track uh, very easily just by using some of the badass presets we have. So thanks for checking this one out with me. Definitely not to be missed because Audiofire always makes some really good stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks.